If only men voted, it would be overwhelmingly Republican. If only women vote, overwhelmingly Democratic. Everything we're seeing is that there's an, un, an element of the Republican Party unwanted in the Republican Party. When they're thrown out of the Republican Party, the, Demo the Democrats in, uh, in the, uh, who, who pose as journalists then all uh, start screaming, like how, look at what they're doing to their party. They're infighting. It's both a victory and it shows that, we're, that, that the Republicans are becoming more fascist every day. So it's not that a bunch of corporations have, have quite literally spoken to uh, leadership of one political party so as to stifle multiple major extremely important political stories things that have that absolutely affect uh, public security in general and national security overall uh, it's the story of wealthy people from legacy wealth, using the government, colluding with then companies, and only ensuring that they make more wealth, and at quite literally the expense of normal taxpaying people, defended now openly by the violent left Antifa and uh, such like, and BLMers. And, and their outlets, because every outlet that is even remotely left of center, moderate to left of center, defends BLM and Antifa every chance they get. Always trying to make it that, no, these people totally have a valid point, and it's not just a violent gang that eventually will extort businesses. Um, no, no, these aren't a bunch of black people who are just ripping people off for their homosexual cause um, and handing money openly over to uh, sexual deviant organizations and such. What now is that the manosphere stands tall on virtue. That's what it comes down to. The manosphere stands tall on virtue. Nobody can beat us on the, in this regard. Um, there's nobody who could touch us. Nobody could say that they've, that, oh, look at the manosphere is this way. Then no, no, no. The manosphere is now the side that is staunchly opposed. When, because it, if only the men voted, what would it be? So, <clears throat> that if you're a drug addict working in the White House, you should probably not have a job. Um, you shouldn't be showing what is absolutely pornographic material to young people so as to encourage them to engage in, uh, in, in abnormal forms of sexual uh, activity. And, and I do really want to start doing that, abnormal, because it is. Normal is heterosexual, or else humans wouldn't be built that way. No, it's, it, it's non-teleological sexual satisfaction, which that's, it is what it is. I'm even becoming more of that kind, like, in the Christian sense. It is what it is. The, the, the person who understands that their whole person belongs to the Creator knows that they're they're supposed to delight in other things and that there's so many things to delight in and that this is a sacred thing meant for you to create uh, lives with that's the, the, so that, that it, yeah because <laughs> let me I just want to put it that way because almost anything else the 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 kind of phantasmagorical level of vulgarity would just be just too much. I mean, just as God created the universe, you know, the, it, and it, yeah. And so, 
if one were to extrapolate like this, you know, that, okay, so men pretty much would be Republican issues. So it would be a lot of, you can't do that to me issues. You can't take my weapons. Um, you don't really have a claim over my money. Like, just because I happen to be in some place, you don't have a claim over my money. That would be a very man way of looking at it, and that's very Republican at the time. And, and um, if you, to be honest, virtuous, uh, the, this is something that the, the left has seeded as well. That they're openly dishonest now. When uh, they're discussing subject, um, and that it's gotten to the point that, I mean, that the, the <clears throat> I thought about this earlier this morning. The adpocalypse, really, what the adpocalypse really was, um, for how much people wanted to say it was because of Elsa and creepy cartoons uh, uh, and stuff like that. No, it was because, it, and, and at the time you were even writing about it, because I remember this was all, I thought it was so funny. I'm like, in the future, I have to remember they're going to blame it on the creepy cartoon Elsa's. And um, whether, you know, kids were watching those or not, I don't know. But all I know is that at the time, this was around the time the internet blood sports were start, starting to make a splash. Um, you're starting to hear a lot of people start quoting Charles Murray. Um, you're starting to get people doing long-form videos based on what happened on Internet Blood Sports Stream. That's when YouTube did the apocalypse. That's when it happened. And it was because the right had completely dominated YouTube. That, that the right was more interesting. Um, the left kept presenting things in a way that, I mean, it was just the raw mockery. I mean, it really is the way that, that Jim has sort of made this work. is just raw, uncut mockery. There, when, when people take themselves too seriously, that's it. And, and, I, and, there's, and this applies to so many people on the Internet. Even people that try to make like a claim like they don't take themselves serious and they're doing it all for the kayfabe and the lols. But yet they'll get spun up once they get even remotely insulted. And, and to the point that you're like, this is really weird that you're this spun up. You know, it's like really odd. You know, like you, you do know what this is exposing. It's exposing the the skirt of your pride you know it's exposing the the bloomers of your pride um so the uh the 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 women's left end liberal democratic progressive vote with a lot of these men who often they have issues with their dads they have issues with authority um, they, they didn't, they have this thing of not wanting, they don't fit into the traditional, oh, I've never really fit into the traditional man role, oh, oh, you know, as they inhale and exhale through their mouth. I had a deviated septum since I was young. <laughs> and so, um, I'm really tall and really large, <gasps> oh, but I've never been athletic and I'm not a real traditional guy. I like, I mean, I like the color pink, you know, it's a nice color. I mean, what bro, you know, come at me, bro. <laughs> you know, and it's, you know, that you're just sitting there just like, no, no, no. It's that there's a, a type of respect that men have for each other they're like, you know, that fellow, and it's like, da da da, you know, it, you, you don't have that, it, this is, the, you get the, the kazoo music, you know, <laughs> look at that guy, and then the kazoo music comes on, um, and it's like the, it's like everybody has AIDS as a, as a funeral dirge.
that's that's a song from a movie uh, just for there's somebody who's watching this that'll be like wait this series of words I don't understand <laughs> the way I'm putting them together and I just thought about wait the way that that would sound if you didn't know that was a song everybody has AIDS as a song from a comedy uh, just in case you missed it <laughs> um <coughs> Just that alone, okay, the irony that the Democrats get in control and now everybody has vades, that's amazing. Like, that's really actually starting to become a major issue. And there we go. Let me, there we go. Lies. That all these people now, um, that more and more data is starting to come out about vades, about the vaccine acquired uh, immunodeficiency syndromes. And so the Europe is going after anybody who discusses it. Good morning. Um, is soon you're going to start seeing the CDC try desperately to go after anybody who talks about it. Um, but the VADES issue is a big one that because it's what we all we all knew what we, we all knew it was coming. We all knew what was up. We all knew what was coming. We knew that this was what the deal was. Too many of these people who we work with at the bottom of the economy are getting sick over and over again. These, these various, you know, these various uh, kind of types of morons, you know, they're sitting there saying, you know, oh, all these people, they're all making me ill because they won't get their shot. And I kept getting the same sickness over and over again. And it's like, bro, that's not a bacterial infection. You, 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 you can't get that. This is specifically a virus. This is, that's the whole point. You're not supposed to be getting a virus over and over and over again. What's wrong with you? Like, so, what's wrong with you? So instead, everyone has to lie. It's not that you didn't raise your kid right. And now your kid is a lop job who's, who's going to be on drugs for the rest of their life. It was, no, it wasn't you, lady. It wasn't your parenting. Oh, your son is a magic Negro uh, carjacker. And um, he just keeps uh, somehow not going to jail for carjacking and doing horrible things to people. It wasn't you. No, no, no. You see, the... The, the, the public school didn't teach him right. Oh, no, no, it wasn't mom. It wasn't the female vote. They know the welfare state that overwhelmingly helps really women because they don't have to take care of the elderly. And if they just don't feel like working, they get to go on welfare and say that they, like, feel feelings all the time. Oh, and then they're disabled. And, uh... And, and all they got to do is, like, work as a, uh, you know, a reserve ass assistant to nursing assistants um, a few hours a week. And uh, the government will keep handing them a benefits check. You know, because they're helping. Now they're helping. You know, and so, uh, and, and I don't give a fuck. I see them around. I've seen this hustle now. I know now that this is a hustle happening in slacker Americana <laughs> you know because these women don't want to clip weed for the rest of their lives and they can't a lot of them end up actually not being able to be around marijuana because it makes it, it gives them lung problems and makes them break out so we have this issue of the Republicans being this party of men standing up for what is fundamentally at its principal good things and that the, the bad are being excised from the party almost every, every policy that at some point you find somebody like getting out of NATO and being like nope NATO, NATO is now going to have to be an EU thing the EU is going to have to figure this out they're going to have to figure out their own joint defense you know, we're, we're pulling away from NATO, though we should. Why? Because the moment you do, all of a sudden the Democrats are like, what will you, what, but, uh, but I want to visit France. 
I, I love going to Amsterdam. Why won't you send southern white men to defend Amsterdam by beating up Russians? There's all of these guys who are not from the coastal states, uh, the east coastal states that, you know, what, what, what could their lives possibly, you know, be worth? They're not coasties. Just send them to beat people up so I may have the things I like. I have to care for a woman. She would like to visit Copenhagen. So there's there's really a, the manosphere. I, there's this part of me that's like, you know, don't be don't be mean, don't be too hard on people. There's this thing though, the manosphere keeps ending up saying and doing, and then at a certain point, I'm sitting back going, you know. I'm noticing that the people who are angry about that saying and the people who are angry about the doing, well, this is just becoming, I mean, it's like the Legion of Doom and uh, the village people and, uh, oh my gosh, and look, it's like the, the, the Royal Order of Jesters, a pendant order of uh, York Rite Freemasonry there. They're really upset about this. I wonder why. Oh, their last chapter's in Virginia. And I mean, what do they make there? <laughs> war. So, war. And so, uh, I, I'm, you know, a lot of this, this thing of like, yeah, you know, the internet has given a whole lot of wily men who don't answer to any women. I think a way more power than, um, than, than these people can handle. And so they have to break the internet, but they can't now. They, they thought they were going to break everything. Oh, Tucker Carlson. Oh, and you can't, you can't do anything or we get to sue you, you know? And it's like, Oh, really? Oh yeah. We'll see how, we'll see how you do. See how you do. And Tucker Carlson is going to be, one of the most major forces in a um, hundred years in American media. He's going to be remembered. He's going to be one of those people remembered, you know, with all, all these various like kind of great voices of the old days. And that's the rest of the story. And, and, and uh, you know, and these, you know, carry, when, when 60 Minutes uh, broke open the, the information about how unsafe our uh, nuclear power plants were. And <clears throat> that was bigger than people think. <clears throat> now, I bet right now there's somebody poo-pooing like, oh, well, I mean, what, what did that really lead to? Well, eventually that man, Richard Marchenko, in writing the books he did, it created this understanding among multiple generations of veterans of the military that like, people were putting together, like, I think he's talking about this guy. Who, yeah, is now a vice admiral. You know, I think he's talking about this guy. Who, yeah, he's he's now a brigadier general. Da 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 da. You know, and or yeah, there's guy. No, there's totally guys like that that they just ride, ride up the chain in the military. And um, and 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 now they've ruined it. And that Marchenko warned everybody. Marchenko had warned everybody that this was going to happen to the military. He gave everybody the understanding of like, no, it's, it's from somebody who is in it. You guys are, you guys have like all the wrong people starting to run some of the most important units and sections of the military. These, these are guys who just rode up the ranks and that they're pieces of shit. So, uh, and, and sure enough, now we see, like, now, now the military has become so lax, so lax now, that they have a TikTok problem. They now have a real problem with TikTok, uh, people using TikTok, and, and demoralizing the ranks. And talking about how, how crap it is to be in the military... And it's like, well, it's not meant to be, like, 
it, it's not meant to be glorious. It is meant to be like the hardest possible job a human can train for. <laughs> like, it, it, yeah, like it's, it's really weird how everybody understands it now at, clearly as a jobs program. Um, rather than no, you're training to, to kill the, to kill enemies, like period. You have to want and be okay with killing other people. Like it has to be something that you're willing to do when you get involved in that. And this is obviously not, this is not being made clear this is the gravity of that is not being made clear. And then it's like humans will do anything to survive. So you will have to train yourself to deal with the fact that humans will do anything to survive and your job is to kill them. What are you willing to do? You know, so more and more I'm thinking that what we're going to see is that the uh, the left of center is just going to have to rely completely on this on on doing everything it can to sort of lie constantly. Um, they had all these opportunities to stop lying, and now they're tied up in it. Now they, there's no way back out of it. Like COVID and how poorly that was dealt with by the left. Um, uh, the uh, the, the, how tied up they are with a lot of feminist stuff that it's like now it's at this stage that it's like oh yeah men do this and men do that and it's like okay well the, fine it, it doesn't matter because there are no men out there who give a shit and are and, and there's not some kind of mass movement of I mean like really think about Hunter Avalon and Destiny right now like, think of all of these various dudes who were the pushback supposedly against Gamergate. They were pushing back against Comicsgate and the MAGA fascists. Especially, what was it, the ones from, like, New Zealand and Australia that Bering would fucking spank all the time. I mean, like, th what's happened to these guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, some of you even know, like, oh, yeah, like, that guy had this happen to him, that dude, he's lopped it, he's become a, a drug addict, you know, because he can't, he doesn't have, he doesn't have what it takes to become a lop job, you know, it's, so he's just on all the drugs, uh, you know, it's, you know, another one, you know, the, another one, his wife left him, you know, it's like, that's the one where, like, the super pro kind of feminist dudes or something like that, when they get left by their women, and you're just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're just sitting back like, really? Like, really? So, um, yeah. So, I'm just, I'm just, it, this split, this kind of split, that now the Democratic Party is becoming this party of women and liars, um, and that they're people that are okay with lies. They kind of believe in them. They believe that they should be lying to people and that they should have control over what they think is the truth. This is very dysfunctional mother behavior. Very, very dysfunctional mother behavior, bad girlfriend behavior, um, kind of crazy quasi skits girl behavior. Um, like the more I, I'm, I'm thinking about this, like kind of this separation in society um, that you're seeing these kind of two parts to society form. And now, now this silly movie, you know, that, that, you know, about, oh, there's going to be some kind of civil war in America or something like that. You know, where I'm just sitting back like, okay, <laughs> I still, my vote is I'm thinking everyone's going to have to worry about where their poo-poo is stored before a civil war. <laughs> I, that's my whole thing. When, when it's, I'm not worried about the civil war. I'm worried about when, when the storm drains <laughs> back up. That's all I'm worried about. <laughs> when the leaves fill the storm drains and the storm drains back up and we're all neck deep in shit. 
Um, yeah, it, it's it, it, the, 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 uh, just, and, and of course, this goes back to what I was talking about of, uh, that person writing about, can we maintain our system of systems that are so complicated? It's taken a thousand years to teach people just to maintain them. And, uh, and so, yeah, it's just, I've just been having to think about, like, this kind of not so realistic view of how everything's going to come to an end and be terrible and this and that and like okay who's kicking who's kicking these rhymes you know who's who's buying that album you know what i'm saying and so it's like now i'm like yeah yeah just beware the the the, the, the all the various doomsayers um because at some point, one of the things is, is with the overwhelming number of old ladies, right? This was another thing I was thinking about. With the young ladies versus old ladies vote. At some point, it's got to hit a certain amount of young women. All I've got to do is not end up like them. That's a big part of it. Like, all I've got to do is not end up like that. I, and it sounds... It's, it's pretty fucked up. It's a fucked up thing to say. But, I mean, it's real. All i got to do is not end up like the lonely, angry women. And and they, they kind of don't want to. So, it's like that kind of thing. Like, wait. All the lonely, angries... They all say stuff like this, think stuff like that. Well, I don't want to be a lonely, angry. I want to be a happy, I want to be a, a, a happy mommy. You know, I want to, you know, it's, it, it, why, I, I want a normal life. Uh, I, I don't want insanity and chaos. Because remember, a lot of the young, they've, they've known nothing but insanity and chaos. They've known nothing but just, just it, everything's been just crazier and crazier since they were a, a child. So to have some kind of semblance of order, I think, I think that's going to be a big deal. I think that's going to be a really big deal. Ooh, I don't know what that's about. Who's this person? Who are you? All right. Well, I'm going to get going. I've got the last stages of a project to work on that mostly involve getting my space a certain way because the shelves arrived, and so I have shelving in place and stuff, and now I just have to you know, move some things around, and uh, which I um, feel like I'm always doing, so uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of not looking forward to it. But... First, let's see if there's funny shit on the internet. All right, later.